Everyone, this is an episode that is rated TV 14, okay? So uh, if you are a child, turn it off. You're not allowed to watch this thing. This is for adults only. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to be talking about today is a few items that I picked up at a fertility festival in Japan. So when I went to Japan, uh, I, if you've been watching my series for a while, I went there a few years ago and I had all sorts of amazing fruit. But while I was there, I just happened to be there on uh, March 15th, which is the date of the Honen Matsuri, which is basically a fertility festival or a harvest festival. Honen means uh, prosperity, and Matsuri means festival, so it's a prosperity festival. At this festival, there are a few key features. People go through the streets and pass out cups of sake to people and it's free of charge. There's also rice cakes that are thrown. This is at a Shinto shrine, and Shinto priests will uh, play music. And there is also an eight-foot-long phallus that is carried through the streets of this small town. <laughs> There are several different festivals, I believe, on this particular date, but the most famous one is in a small town, uh, Komaki, which is like an hour or so north of Nagoya. Nagoya is, uh, is a main city there. And what's really cool about this festival is that it is for everybody. When I was there, it you see old people who are there because they truly believe in this and they have a certain sort of reverence towards this festival. So I saw little old men, little old ladies like walking through. They went up to these structures that were just like big stone phalluses at these shrines and they would like, pat them for good luck. Fertility is one aspect. It is also for prosperity. So you would go to this festival to wish for a good harvest if you are like a farmer or just, you know, more in your life as far as like money and things like that go. So, uh, you know, old people do go there and they do believe in this. Uh, the young people, I'm sure a lot of them do believe in it, but they are there for the festival atmosphere. You get free booze, there's like souvenirs everywhere. Teenagers love it. There's like a chock full of young people because Ha ha ha, there's penises everywhere, you know. So there were uh, snack foods like everywhere and everything was basically shaped like a penis. And from what I hear, there's a lot of the food is like supposed to be phallic in nature as well. Not sure if that's true. Uh, yeah, it is. Bananas. Sausages. a lot of banana products, and this is the least penis-shaped uh, banana that I was able to find. A lot of them have little extra bits added to it <laughs> to make it even more so. So, um, yeah, I've never seen a banana sold like this before, so I figured I'd give it a quick review. Uh, hey, look over there. Hmm. Banana is okay. A little bland. And whatever they put on it, it's like a white chocolate chemical of some kind. It tastes like really cheap wax candy on a bland banana with sprinkles on it. People behind me are actually doing the same exact thing that I am, I'm doing a video review of one that looks even more phallic than mine. So, this is not the most original place that I've been, but it is the most, um, I don't know. I can't even say it's the most penisy. It's going to. It's not. But it is fun. There were vendors selling items that were the exact same 
as others, but one was shaped like a penis and the other one was not. And if you got the one that was shaped like the penis, it was like so much more money. So you can get like those little, I forget the name of it, they're like little desserts, they're shaped like fish, filled with like red beans or something. Uh, they had those shaped like fish, would be like two bucks. But if you got one that was shaped like a penis, it was like five bucks. Anyway, so I babbled enough about the festival. Let's show off some of the things that I found. This is actually an Akebia fruit. And that is why I bought this, why I was like so interested in having this one, is that it does tie in with the fruit hunting that I do. Akebia, also known as chocolate vine, is a fruit that is available in Japan, and I really, really wanted to find this. Unfortunately, I was there at the wrong season, so I couldn't find the fresh fruit. I mean, it already has a very suggestive shape when you look at it fresh, but when you dry it out and shape it like this, it is, uh, yeah, undoubtedly, definitely looks like that part of the body. The guy who was selling this, he also had all sorts of different things. There was very often, it would be one of these uh, on a little mount with a little phallus as well, so you'd have both. This festival was like, I'd say about 98% phallic. Like everything was penis shaped, but there was like a few little shout outs, like this one to the humble vagina. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? Now this is clearly the highlight of the items that I found, but I'll show you a few other things that I picked up at this festival while we're on the subject. This guy here is an Emma. Emma is uh, it's basically like a plaque that they have at temples throughout Japan. Uh, it usually has an image on one side. On the other side you are meant, this is the back by the way, I'll show you the front in a second. Uh, on the back, you're meant to write a wish. So you might write on this, uh, I hope my uncle gets over his cold. Something. And so you put that on the back, and then you uh, sign it with your name. You put your name or your initials on it, and then you hang it at these temples. They'll have a special area. So it's like a form of prayer, basically. I think this cost me like 10 bucks or something. They're usually less than that, but this festival was a little bit more expensive, you know, because... Well, I think because it was a festival. I think if you go to a temple in off time, they're like three, four dollars or something. And the front of this, pa pow. So there you go. It's got the uh, the phallus in the little pagoda that they have. A little steeple at the top there of the temple. I'm not sure what any of the text says. There's like some text down there and right here. If uh, you read Japanese or you speak Japanese and you uh, know what this says, please let me know. I have no idea. Uh, this right here also is on the back. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm guessing this might have something to do with the location it's in. Wild guess. I have absolutely no idea. They also had a whole lot of lollipops because of what you do with lollipops. And uh, I'll show off some of these. And of course, this is Japan, so we're dealing with a lot of packaging here. Uh, again, I don't know what any of this says. I don't remember what this cost either. I think it was fairly cheap. It was like a couple dollars. So, undo one piece of packaging and what is inside, but another piece of packaging. Oh, and this little... Nice little, little flower in there. And inside this package we have one large phallus one very tiny phallus. I'm not sure what the significance is there. And uh, maybe just to keep everybody included so nobody feels um, uh, emasculated by looking at the large phallus, although not that large. And there's also, for good measure, a little vagina thrown in. And that's why I bought this particular one. Uh, they had just singular ones and they had like a whole bouquet of phalluses. Definitely difficult to find the little vaginas at this festival, but they did exist. They did exist. Um, yeah, so there you go. There you have it. Not sure what else to say about it, but there it is, guys. That is uh, definitely it. My favorite thing about this festival is just how it doesn't shy away about these things. Like, in the West, people are uh, so shy about 
the downstairs area. But if you go to other cultures, uh, you will see there's not quite so much repression about it. People can be very open. Um, Japan, it seems like a kind of an oddity because you know people are fairly reserved about this sort of thing in their day to day. It is still something that people embrace because it's important to their culture. So I think that's uh, that's kind of a very interesting, what's the word, like dichotomy? There's like a certain separation there, but during these special times, like people do embrace something that normally would be uh, a taboo subject. So I think that's all I have to say about this, guys. There is a slight fruit theme to this particular episode, and um, that's always fun, and I'm do have plenty other things that have suggestive elements to them in my collection. So if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, do let me know. If you want to see more things dealing with resourceful items like this guy here that I talked about a while ago, uh, I've got plenty more of that. Let me know what you like. If you like the series at all, if you hate it, um, I would like to know. Or if you don't like either of these things and you want to see some you know, more grab bag things in my collection, let me know and uh, we'll see what else I can dig up. All right. See you next time. Bye. Look at all these people. All eagerly awaiting a giant phallus to come down the street. That is what's amazing. How this sort of thing can like bring everybody together. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.